She's Having a Baby is a 1988 American romantic comedy film directed and written by John Hughes. The film portrays a young newlywed couple, Christy and Jake Briggs played by Elizabeth McGovern and Kevin Bacon, who try to cope with married life and their parents' expectations. Topic. Plot This film looks at the lives of Jefferson, Jake, Kevin Bacon, and Christy Briggs, Elizabeth McGovern, from their wedding day until the birth of their first child, mostly through Jake's eyes, with his voiceover commentaries and several imaginary scenes. Jake asks his best friend, Davis McDonald, Alec Baldwin, before the wedding if he thinks he will be happy, to which his friend says, Yeah, you'll be happy. You just won't know it. After their wedding, Jake and Christy head off for New Mexico, where Jake works towards gaining a master's degree, but leaves before finishing. They return to Chicago where Jake is hired as an advertising copywriter. Jake says he wants to be a writer, which amuses his boss. Christy is hired as a research analyst, and they are able to buy a house in the suburbs. Jake's best friend suddenly visits after not seeing him for two years. Davis tells them that his father has died, and Jake and Christy are supportive, allowing him to stay the night. Things take a turn for the worse when Davis makes a pass at Christy, by trying to get her bathrobe open and proclaiming his feelings, but Christy turns him down, telling him that she is in love with Jake. Meanwhile, Jake begins fantasizing about having an affair with a mysterious young French model. Jake and Christy continue to adjust to their new lives until Christy decides to stop taking contraceptives without telling Jake, until after several months, she informs him that he has been unable to impregnate her. Jake feels pressure from society and from his wife to have a child. The couple begins a fertility program, which eventually succeed. They tell their parents, and while all are overjoyed, Christy's mother casually informs them that she had a difficult birth with Christy and nearly died. During a traumatic labor, Jake realizes that his lack of satisfaction was due to his selfishness and immaturity. The last scene of the film reveals that Jake's voiceover was the new father reading his novel entitled She's Having a Baby to His Wife and Son. Topic. Cast Kevin Bacon as Jefferson, Jake, Edward Briggs, Elizabeth McGovern as Kristen, Christy, Briggs, Alec Baldwin as Davis McDonald, William Wyndham as Russ Bainbridge, Holland Taylor as Sarah Briggs, Catherine Damon as Gail Bainbridge, Damon's final role, released posthumously. John Ashton as Ken James Ray as Jim Briggs Bill Irwin as Grandfather Briggs Paul Gleason as Howard Dennis Duggan as Bill Larry Hankin as Hank Edie McClurg as Lynn Nancy Lenahan as Cynthia Michael Keaton as himself cameo, end credits Woody Harrelson as himself cameo, end credits Matthew Broderick as Ferris Bueller, cameo, end credits. Topic. Production The film was shot in Winnetka, Ill and Evanston, Ill from September 1986 to December 1986. However, several scenes were shot directly in the Field Museum in Chicago, Illinois. Most of John Hughes's films either take place in Chicago, in the suburbs of Chicago, or are about people going to or coming from Chicago. Topic. Soundtrack The She's Having a Baby soundtrack album was released in 1988 on IRS. Records label and produced by Dave Wakeling. The song during the birth sequence is This Woman's Work by Kate Bush and is featured on her 1989 album The Sensual World. 
John Hughes is thanked in the album's liner notes. The song playing during the trailer is Music for a Found Harmonium by the Penguin Cafe Orchestra. The song played during the street party is How Sweet It Is to Be Loved by You by Marvin Gaye. Topic. Track listing She's Having a Baby Dave Wakeling Haunted When the Minutes Drag Love and Rockets Desire Come and Get It Jean Loves Jezebel Happy Families XTC Crazy Love Brian Ferry You Just Haven't Earned It Yet, Baby Kirsty McCall Apron Strings Everything But The Girl This Woman's Work Kate Bush It's All In The Game Carmel Full Of Love Drive Calculus Topic. Reaction The film received mixed to negative reviews from critics and has 38% positive reviews on Rotten Tomatoes based on 39 reviews. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times gave She's Having a Baby a mixed two stars out of four. He wrote that the film begins with the simplest and most moving of stories and interrupts it with an amazing assortment of gimmicks. Being salvaged only by strong performances from Bacon and McGovern, in an evening with Kevin Smith too, Evening Harder director Kevin Smith cites She's Having a Baby as his favorite John Hughes movie. He also cites it as a template for Jersey Girl, joking that both movies were financially unsuccessful.